guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with a Trader Joe's taste test. Um, we showed a video last week of our grocery haul and we brought some new things that we'd never tried before. And so we are gonna be trying them out today. Yep. So first up, it's uh, oat and Greek yogurt sandwich cookies. So the cashier said these were new and they're very good. I think they might be reminiscent of the um, oatmeal cream pies by Little Debbie, I think. Of course, I don't know. Um, well, we'll taste and find out. Yeah, they look really good. And she said they're kind of soft, so they're not a hard cookie. Wow, they're big. Uh, That's what they look like. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Oh, they are, you know what? They're actually not as soft as she said. No, they're they're hard. Yeah, they are hard cookies. All right, there you go. Cheers. They're good. Mm. I like it. They do have a good flavor, but I was expecting them to be soft. These are very crunchy. These are kind of, have like a, a short bread consistency. Let me show you what they look like. So this is what they look like and they're very, very, they're very crumbly. As yeah, you can see. They are. Very, very crumbly. So this is not a soft cookie. It's kind of like, I don't know, what would you say? A crumbly Oreo. Yeah, a crumbly Oreo. Would you buy them again? I would. Uh, I'll eat this. Okay. All right, so my turn. Next up. Um, so then another, th another thing that the cashier said is not always at the store. So I don't know if this is a, she said she didn't know if it was gonna be a permanent item or not. Are these crepe wafer cookies? It says buttery thin, crispy wafer cookies. And, oh. I did not expect that. I didn't either. So this is what they look like and you get two of them in the box. Two packets. Mm -hmm. You wanna open these real quick for me? Thank you. And on the box, it's served with ice cream. Let's see, they're pretty big. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yeah, like a slice of pizza. Oh, cheers. Oh, it's kind of like a Christmas tree. Oh, that's There's true. A pattern on there. They're crispy, mm -hmm. very light. Mm-hmm. You know what it tastes like? Reminds me of an ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's lighter than an ice cream cone. It tastes like, um, you know those rolled cookies that they sell in the store, they come in mm. a tin and they have icing in the middle of them? This is the texture of these. So it's very fake, flaky. I don't know if you can see right there, kind of like a, a phyllo dough. It's like layers and layers and layers, but very light. It's not bad. I don't know, would you, would you buy it again? Not necessarily, but I would eat it. I mean, yeah, we'll eat it, mm -hmm. but it wasn't anything special. All right, next up, milk chocolate and honey toffee pecans. And the cashier said that these were really good too. She said they're addictive. Addictive. And I really like pecans. You're not a big pecan person, are you? No, not really. And I also like toffee. I was trying to get the bag open. Yep. It has one of those um, resealable bags, which is good. Oh, this oh, is like uh, coated, covered. Looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Ooh. Tastes pretty good to me. They're okay. I do taste the pecan. So, not a big pecan person, but. It tastes, um, you can definitely taste the toffee. It says pecans glazed in a crunchy honey toffee enrobed in milk chocolate and finished with powdered sugar. And it's not the hard toffee that I feel like will break your tooth on, it's a soft toffee. I like it. Is it my turn? Yep, your okay. turn. So the next thing that we're gonna try, I don't think these are new, I don't know. But like I said in the grocery haul video, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time. These are called hedgehog cookies, 
which I said to me um, were reminiscent of like what I thought a teddy gram would be. So it comes in a box that looks like this and they are in six individually wrapped little bags. So. And they look like <laughs> this. Little hedgehog. Oh, well, I guess there's a little hedgehog. Yeah, see, there he is. <laughs> okay, ready? Cheers. You're okay. Nothing special. I mm. think. You're good. Uh, what got me was it said with cultured butter. Mmm. To me, they don't taste as good as a Teddy Graham. Mm, like a butter cookie. Like of. a butter cookie, but not very sweet. Mm, I don't think I would have to buy these again. Okay. All right, next up. Jerk style plantain chips. Now, I've never had jerk style plantain chips before, but I've had a lot of different ones, so we'll see how these uh, taste. And where are you from? I am Jamaican. And so he knows about jerk and plantain chips. I thought you were calling me a jerk. But here we go. <laughs> Does it, I like jerk? Uh, I smell something, but I don't know. We'll see how it tastes. Mm. It tastes, tastes garlicky, <clears throat> and it is a little spicy. It has definitely has a kick. Not bad. But you like plantain chips. I do. And I don't like plantain chips. But these are actually good because they really have a good flavor. It's a little spicy, and you get the garlic mm -hmm. and stuff. These yeah, are not good. Bad. If you don't like plantain chips, but you like spicy, you probably like these. I you actually like it. There's the sweet ones, and then there's the savory ones. So. You're good. Mm, I like these. All mm. right, you're up. So the last thing that we have are these um, organic elote corn chip dippers. And there you go, you see it? And they're supposed to be flavored like a Mexican style street corn, which is what elotes are. They sell them, you know, like in, sell them all over around here, like in farmer's markets and things like that. You can buy the, Elote, which is either corn on the cob or they've taken the corn off the cob and it's in a cup and it's seasoned with all these different spices. So that's okay. what they and look this like. Is what it looks like. Really highly seasoned looking chip. Yeah, this this one looks extra highly seasoned. I'll give okay. you the less highly seasoned one. Alright. Cheers. Mmm. They're not bad. Are they spicy or is that the plantain chip? They're a little spicy. Okay. So they do have a kick to them. So maybe they would work well in guacamole, like what they have on the bag. So you don't think they would work well by themselves? Um, I'm not into uh, corn chips. Like, what's those uh, corn Fritos? chips? Fritos? I have Fritos. You like those. I love Fritos. I love Fritos. Um, I will say as far as some of the spices, there is... Um, Buttermilk, and it says a trace of lime. Uh, maybe uh, it's a trace of lime I don't like. Yeah, he doesn't like lime, but it's pretty good. Chipotle peppers, etc. It's not bad to me. So. All right, that's it. That's it. Everything was good. Yeah, I think everything was okay. Everything was pretty good. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.